today's video, I am going to be breaking down different 4 out basketball plays that will allow your team to score more layups in games. I'm going to give you a couple of different options against man-to-man -man defenses and a few different options against zones as well. Let's get down. Let's check this out really quickly. If you want a deadly zone defense, make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball zone defense book that is down in the description below that will trap the corners and double the low post without leaving any players open. Okay, so the 4 out offense is when you've got 4 players outside of the 3 point line and you've got 1 player either in the high post or in the low post. The idea here is to spread out the zone or spread out the defense and then create options out of that player who is in the low or high post. The first play is going to be super simple. If you are playing up against a man-to-man -man defense, you've got the ball on one of the wings, you're going to have a set of back screen with the postman on the opposite wing player. That player is going to then cut to the basket, and we are hoping for him to be open enough for us to pass him the ball and for him to have the open layup. Now, if this collapses the defense, we can kick the ball out to the corners for a three-point shot. However, at least the first few times running this play, it's going to be very simple and you should be able to get the ball to the rim. If player two is not open, let's say his man was able to fight through that screen or let's say they switched off one or the other, you are now going to have player two set the ball or off ball screen on the ball side. Player five is going to then clear out and then we're going to have player three use that screen and he's going to cut to the rim. We are then going to look to hopefully pass the ball to player three for the layup. If this doesn't work, let's say he's not open, we're now going to have player three in that high post or low post and we can run another four out play. Or you can do what I would do, which is have player one dribble out to here. Player three pops up to the three point line and now we're in five out and I really like running a set play and then finishing with a five out motion. You can go check out my complete guide to the five out offense down in the description below. Another play that I really like is a, uh, is a play that has a lot of off ball cuts. So we're going to have player one. He's going to pass that ball to player five and when that pass happens, we're going to have player one and two cut to the rim. Now at this time, player five can hit one or the other of these players. I'm going to tell you right now this works against the zone defense too and if you and if you run this the first three or four times in your game you're probably going to get a layup from one of these two players. However if they are not open we're going to have player four lift, two clear out, three lift, one clear out. When this happens we're then going to have player five either pass out to player four or pass out to player three. If he passes out to player three he's then going to set a screen and roll and player three is also going to be looking to either attack the basket or hit player five who is rolling towards the rim for the layup if this collapses this defender we can kick the ball out to player four for the three-point shot or he can attack collapse this defender and then kick the ball out or he could be cutting back door get a layup one of the other there's a lot of different options read and react teach your team how to move off ball and you can add these extra things in without them even thinking now you're probably wondering how does this work against a 2-3 zone well the defense is going to be shifted most likely like this we're going to have player five receive that pass from player one that will usually have this player turn around and try to double that low that high High post when that happens player four is going to be cutting player one is going to be cutting between those two gaps we're either going to be looking for four or one for the layup because I'm going to tell you right now that player five because he's it's a high high post entry pass we're going to be most likely if these guys don't collapse if three and four don't collapse both one and four are going to be wide open for the layup if they collapse like they should then we're going to be looking to have player three or player two for the open three-point shot now you may be wondering well you said that all of these plays are going to be just to get layups that's not always going to be the case the first option can be a layup however you do need a three-point threat to be able to keep the key open so that you can make layups that's the issue that a lot of coaches have and or even a lot of teams have and that is the ability to hey I, I don't have any players who can shoot three-point shots so I don't want to take any threes all game my u12s which is 11 u in the states those those young kids a lot of the teams that we played against the teams were only taking one or two threes per game one or two three attempts you know what I did pack the paint 
everyone in the paint, you can be playing man to man defense, but I want everyone in the paint because all they're doing is layups. And that's how you that's how you can win. You can pressure at half all you want, like I do. You can you can set up different zone traps in half court. You can do all that. But if the other team is not shooting threes and all they're looking to do is take layups, then you just pack the paint, wait till they miss a floater or whatever because they can't get into the paint. You get the rebound, outlet, and go. It's a very simple strategy. If you at least attempt threes, you don't have to make them. If you can just attempt five, maybe ten threes a game, maybe ten threes is too much for your team, maybe five threes a game, whatever it may be, whatever your magic number is, that keeps the defense honest at the very least. And if the defense is honest, now you can attempt a lot more layups. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball zone defense book that is down in the description below. And my complete guide to the 5 out offense because that's a very useful offense to use against both a man-to-man -man and a zone defense. I'll see you guys again in my next video.